This is the Real Eyes Recognized Podcast. Now your hosts, Dustin Gutkowski and UFC fighter Kevin Holland. Which camera is it? Wait, wait. Skittles pain. Put that goddamn thing right. away. Yeah. <laughs> he already he, he shot the most viewed video. Is uh, Jamal's number one, and then number two is the one of Prime. us not promoting Prime, but promoted Prime. <laughs> <laughs> Locked in for life, baby. Yeah, it's like literally that's the second most viewed video. But free bonus next fight after that shit. Yeah, was with the John Jones one, and then that one. My hat don't keep hitting that shit. I'm keep gonna start hitting this hair thing. <laughs> you know. Hey. Yeah. So we're not talking about Madden. We're not talking about Madden. Okay. All right. Let's get started then. All right, ready? <laughs> which which camera is that one? Yeah. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> what are you talking about when you play DC and Madden? Bro, look. Listen, you got lucky, bro. I went rusty. That was your on the road. Game. I've been doing a lot of moving around. You know, it was PlayStation. I play on Xbox. Yeah. The movement's a little different. That's for sure. It throws a little different. So, you know. Winning titles and shit, you know. Thing. Yeah, it didn't have, you don't have time for video games. <laughs> yeah, <before. laughs> it fucked it. That's peasant talk. Just, yeah, just, I just got to readjust my mechanics. Well, you know, my hand been broke, so that's all I've been doing is just rehab, you yeah, know, I mean, with the video. Yeah. yeah. I never thought of it. Sometimes I turn it this way. Yeah, sometimes I try to, you know, play like that. <laughs> You know what I mean? I use my pinky. Bop, 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 bop. I just got to, you know, work my hand different ways. But that's why I'm so good right now. Yeah, I feel you. I feel you. Yeah, I feel you. it's okay. I, you know, it takes some time to get my game back up. Don't break your hand to do it, though. No. 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 That's not the way. You guys hear that? That's not the strategy. Yeah, it's our guest. He didn't. Yeah, no, good. All right, so that's all, that's all we need. We're getting started. Are we, are we already going? Okay, we're going. Hey, okay. We're, yeah, we're getting started. I don't know what episode this is, but as you can see, realize, recognize, is it seven? Lucky number seven. seven. And wow. we have the champ here, the newly crowned with the belt, Jamal Hill. Sweet dreams. Hey, bro, congrats. That is fucking awesome. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank, you very, <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. Howdy. Yeah, howdy. Yeah. And you did call it right here in this very room yeah. uh, a few months ago on, on the podcast. You didn't even have a fight lined up at that time, was there? No. No. I think, at that time, I, I don't I, think. I don't no, think I don't think it was announced. I think I had already been offered the Smith. And, yeah. Maybe. It was close. It was in the works. There was rumors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, in, no, no. Yeah, yeah. I think I've been offered Smith at the time. Yeah. Wow. And on, and you called it on this show about winning the world title and getting the opportunity and testing yourself. Literally manifested it. And then now it's sitting here in the real eyes. That's awesome. Just gotta speak things into the universe and they kinda happen, you know. And then kinda sit back and and I realize that, like, yeah, bro, whenever I speak things into the universe, like, yeah, I'm gonna do this hit. But they and all came full circle. It's just kinda crazy. Yeah. And it's crazy. I mean, look, you gotta when you get that lifetime of an opportunity, you gotta take advantage of it in in that or you get the uh, an opportunity of a lifetime, you gotta take advantage of it in the lifetime of the opportunity. And you did. And there's not a lot of people that would have because you weren't training for that fight. It was thrown at you. You immediately said yes. And, then, oh, yeah. and it was, I mean, it's not easy. Like you went in to Brazil. It's not like that was in your backyard. Went to Brazil, short notice, on the fight to fight a legend. You fucking did it, man. That's awesome. I never left. I had never even left the country before. That was my first time ever. Wow. Ever leaving the U.S. So that's a good way to fucking go. Man, yeah. I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. It was a good trip, Kev. <laughs> yeah. It was a good trip. Yeah. <laughs> it was worth it. Yeah. yeah. It was worth no. it. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. He had my palm sweating and shit. Yeah, but, you know it was. You know, got fire. Great sights, <laughs> great things to see there. You know, beautiful weather. Had to yeah. take a break from the snow. Had to come back with a little bit of extra jewelry. A little yeah. bit more money in my pocket. Nice belt buckle. That's why you, you know? got your Texas swag. Texas, Texas, yeah. Yeah. Belt buckle, yeah. got Texas I, think, I think right now, I yeah. think I got the best belt buckle in the great state of Texas. Yeah, I think so, my <laughs> man. Sure. I think okay. so. Yo, I think yeah, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is yeah. It, you know how to ride a horse? Got a new, a new look. Yeah. Not a that's a, that's actually a, a cousin question. He asked if you know how to ride a horse, and I'm asking, is that a new look for you? Texas thing. It's, it's definitely a new look. <laughs> it's something I'm trying out here, you know? Why? Well, you know, I, I figured I'd blend in with all the natives. Yeah. And Oh, my gosh. The, you said if I... Can you get do it? I know how to ride, ride a horse? A horse? Yeah, yeah, I know how to ride a horse. It's been a long time, though. I had a horse back when I was a kid. My godparents oh, okay. actually had a farm. So. Yeah. Oh, wow. Actually, yeah. I ride a horse. I had a horse. His, his, uh, his name was Chris, and he just so happened to be brown. 
Oh, and that's brown. And I, and, I thought, and I always thought that was pretty uh, funny. Uh, that's a knee slapper. That is a knee slapper. Oh, you know, man. learning the Texas lingo. So too. Jamal Farmer Hill. Yeah. You know they call my. You know you know you know they call my daddy. Old country is Jim Bob. That's what I call him. Old country is Jim Bob. Shout out to you, Dad. God, are you gonna move to Texas? Uh, and with the Texas, he goes, huh? <laughs> uh, what? No. Just- man, look here, man. Y'all got a couple laws that I'm not favorable to. <laughs> you know? So it's like, you know. Really great know. place. Great place. Like the people. What about when we go like get breakfast, people. though? To the breakfast spot. Y'all got a lot of... Uh, <laughs> Y'all are well secured around these here parts. All right? Y'all got y'all y'all are well secured. We'll, we'll say that. Um, I'm just saying, I'd never seen consistently so many police in my life. <laughs> I just haven't. It's crazy. This is not uh, something that you stumble yeah. upon in breakfast, you know. That's but my uh, that's my fault. I shouldn't. Have oh, you care. took them to a place where there were a lot of police. Officers? Yeah, I took them. Yeah, yeah. While we're doing some, we're in, and we're in back back home in my state. Yeah, we'd be good. Yeah, we straight. Yeah, and apparently just, around here it's a little bit of an little issue. Bit CBD, a <laughs> little bit of an issue. CBD. CBD is legal in Texas. Yeah. Oh. Is it, legal? it is. Oh, it is. Oh, my, 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 mama's, mama's like, yeah, yeah. The CBD is howdy, officer. <laughs> yeah, it's CBD. Yeah. You know, you get anxiety. If there's cops in there, saying I'm out. Yeah, I ain't breaking any laws. I'm still out. Yeah, it gives me anxiety. Yeah. <laughs> so the weather was nice in Brazil. It was very nice. The fight was beautiful in Brazil. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was some things. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. I'm glad y'all enjoy watching it. I mean, it felt a little rough, Kev. It, 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 <laughs> it felt a little rough. It, it was beautiful. It was beautiful. Yeah, the head yeah. kick. Yeah. I must say, your character throws it very well in the UFC game too. <laughs> <laughs> so it was fucking amazing. I'm trying to tell you. I mean, but, last that, night I was going hell. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. was. I don't, you know, I was, I was knocking a lot of people out with Jamal's character last night in the game. I the head kick? head kicks? You know, I mean, the left hook too was nice. You know what I mean? The straight <laughs> punch. You know what I'm saying? You had some. You had some. You. Got, we got to work on that leg kick on the game. I don't know what the fuck they were doing. The game. But they need, they need to fire though because they they're behind the times. They made the game before this. Yeah, man. But, but, but when he touches them though, to the game. When, they, when you touch them in a game, they be like, Bruh. every time the health just goes, sweet oh, dreams to the health. Like, oh, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I be swinging lullabies to the people like, you ready to go to sleep? Hello. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> just a little bit. A little bit. Was, was there, was the fight hurt a little bit? Was there anything that surprised you about him? Um, his toughness. How, how tough he was. Like, my mans could just eat punishment and like, and not really like phase him like that. He just kept coming. Yeah. It's not the fact that he just kept coming. It's like he um he kept doing the right things. He still was fighting intelligently. He was still moving to, to the things he was doing. You still had to acknowledge yeah. correctly and intelligently or you get caught. Yeah. You know? So it was just, yeah. It was crazy in that regard just because I thought I was going to get him out of there, you know, uh, especially a couple of times that I had him wobbled, you know, man, legs go wobbly and he started stiffening up, you know, it's like, all right, one or two more, two, one or two more good shots. And then, you know, I mean, then the closing shots and we out of here. But that was not the case, bro. He was tough. I mean, but you stayed smart the whole time. You didn't go crazy because you had him hurt or nothing like that. You stayed keened in to what you had to do. So, I mean, like, that was beautiful. Yeah, man, that was... Told you it was beautiful. <laughs> it was beautiful. Yeah, it was good that I got the. It was good that I got to show that you know. At the, uh, in hindsight, it, I, I'm glad I got that down and got to go through all that. Got to go through that adversity and got to challenge myself in different ways and things like that. You know, but uh, you know, we always looking for clean. We always looking for. I mean, that, that just that that be- that beautiful victory. Yeah. Beautiful is nice. Clean is nice, but it's nice to know that you can go through all that too. You know what I mean? And look good the whole time too. Five rounds, veteran, legend. You know what I mean? Champ at one point in time and fucking, you know what I mean? Snatch that shit in his backyard. I mean, that's... And you did it with a lot of talk against you. You know, a lot of people didn't think you deserved it. Um, You went out and did it. (laughs) Whenever that happened, was there any gratification for those people that that were doubtful? Oh, yeah, 100%. You know, um, that's, that's where a lot of the things were, you know, a lot of the emotion and things like that, like especially that roar. That roar at the end, that's just, that was basically like a, if I may say, it's, it's something I dig. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's really what fuck it is. All. Fuck all y'all. Yeah. <laughs> then you know the fucked up part is I'm roaring. Then I look up and I roar hard as hell in the crowd. And I'm like, ain't nobody in this bitch. It's red Steve Tyler this motherfucker. You know what I mean? That's yeah. why the second word was a little bit more ah. And then you know, just kind of walk off like, all right, fuck it, man. <laughs> Damn, he got the point. <laughs> so, so was it only crazy in the arena when you were fighting? Not the whole time you were there? With the Blue uh, Williams? Like as far as like what? The fans. No, so like they was wild at the weigh-ins. They were wild. Um, they were wild like walking out to the fight. I but seen that. As far as like outside of the arena, no. Right. It was all love. It was like all like, I mean, appreciation people, if they, if they noticed you, they wanted to take a picture with you. They Good luck. You know, I'm Brazilian. I'm going for Glover, but... I appreciate you, and you know I mean things like that. It was all respect and love. That's cool. But the minute you walk through them damn doors, over. Ah, uh, it was fuck you. Yeah. You gonna die? <laughs> oh boy, you about to die? <laughs> oh, not, not later tonight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, motherfucker, brother? It was just just crazy, motherfuckers. The throat slashes, they sticking their tongue out at you, <laughs> giving you the most, yeah. giving you the most aggressive middle fingers you've ever seen in your life. I think one dude even like <laughs> you put some like, hips into it. Yeah, like <laughs> humped into that motherfucker. I'm like, oh, Uh-oh. you really meant that. Yeah, you're serious so, about it. So, you know me, I'm like solid. I'm locked in and shit like that. But my coach, <laughs> we walking by, my coach is just like, man, fuck that. He pushed one of them. It's like, fuck you. <laughs> I'm like, bro, we got to make it out of here. <laughs> we came in this bitch like five deep. All right. Yeah. It's a lot of them. Yeah, it's a lot. Like a lot. Yeah. And that was that was really cool sweet. I saw that Glover stayed, and I heard in another interview you said that he walked out with you. Like he waited to walk out with you. Yeah, no, he had he had me wait because usually after they like they they uh, they'll talk to the winner and then like they let you go. Then like you yeah. know they'll talk to um whoever lost. But he he told me he was like, hold on, wait. You know, he's like he's like wait, just wait a second. And he's like, you gonna walk out with me? You walk out with me. You know, and then that's when he addressed the car out about the whole thing with Brandon Moreno. It was like, we're going to walk out together and show him, show him his respect. And for the most part, when I walked out, like, well, the whole crowd was respectful. Young lady even wanted to take my T-shirt. <laughs> you kept it though, right? Oh, well, yeah, I kept it. I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> like, no sucker, baby. Come on now, baby. <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, mm-hmm. man. But what'd you give her? Okay, we'll talk about that later. Straight Offline. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, he's <laughs> locked in, bro. <laughs> so, like I said, they got some nice sites in Brazil, Kev. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got an OnlyFans deal yet? Yeah, yeah, I actually did get a, do, get a deal. What's your first post going to be? I already posted. What'd you post? <laughs> you know, um, I believe my first post, I, I posted like a couple like little behind the scenes clips. Mm, behind the scenes, huh? Behind the scenes of the fight, Kev. Yeah. I'm trying to sell your only fans, yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 you up here. You know what I mean? Behind uh, on the fan <laughs> that, you know, and uh subscribe to my OnlyFans, you know, uh oh, it was wild. Yeah. It was wild. Yeah. All that wild shit on there. Yeah. Woo. All the yeah. wild shit. Woo. Yeah, like the 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 one that wanted the shirt. The, the, the boom boom. Uh, yeah. Pew pew. Yeah. 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 Boom boom. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Y'all wanna see? Y'all wanna see? Y'all wanna see? Sweet dreams <laughs> get wild with the hair, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to my OnlyFans. <laughs> Subscribe quick. Sat quick. Fast, not slow. Only a cowboy hat and only a belt on. Yeah, the first hey, lady. Say, <laughs> say. Last thirty that's minutes of the video, you know. know what it is. He's just a, he's just a couple of props here. Yeah, that's all. That's all. <laughs> Part of the only fans. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. God. Why do we always end up with the only fans on here? Last time we spent talking about feet. Oh, you know what? We do yeah. every time. You want to know why? Because they giving out money. They dishing yeah, out they money. Hey, shout out to only fans. All right, you know, yeah. Shout out to y'all. You and know, and they're a great platform to be on. A great yeah. platform. It's like you know, when, when as soon as they get the app developed. It'd be even crazier, but the app might like take some of the things that we can do on OnlyFans away. Cause you know, right now it's just, it's a real web. It's a bright web, dark web. It's a web. That it's a web. Just really everything. You know, it's, it's greater than YouTube. Hey, but you know what? But it should, YouTube's it's, great it's giving people the opportunity. It's like stories giving people, especially so what was the other day? Kevin would appreciate this because of the single mom. You know, it's his forte, but she was, <laughs> hey, she was, there was a single mom on there talking about how she's able to feed her kid now. Like, bro, that's real shit. The OnlyFans. You support single moms. Kevin's I do. a huge of fan. Course. Of course. He does. I think hey, only, only, hey. you know, single moms, 
they deserve a little extra love, you know? Yeah, look, bro. I Thank you. Hey, look. I yeah. Su- you know? I support <laughs> single moms every time I'm in Detroit, Atlanta, <laughs> Vegas. All of them. Phoenix. <laughs> Dallas. Austin. Brazil. Shout out to Brazil. Uh, wait, uh, <laughs> Are you they'll, international? They'll be fucking yeah. up like that in Brazil. They'll be fucking yeah, up like that in Brazil. International, Hold on. international <laughs> single mother. <laughs> yeah. Count on Jamal. Y'all should start a group. Y'all should Fort start a group. <laughs> Miami. Jacksonville. <laughs> What's your favorite city? And sometimes they'll take a trip over to Chinatown and Lance and Miss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But, but, but favorite city. Favorite city. Favorite city for... For what? To support single mothers, bro. Oh, supporting single moms. Oh. <laughs> Some place needs it more. He, than goes, he said it real straight. He goes. <sighs> <laughs> As of right now, Brazil, huh? I mean, well, shit, Brazil did bring a lot. I don't think he discriminates. I think all shit, of them. Yeah, bro. I don't even know, bro. Yeah. As long as they Just respect that hat you got on. Equal, I'm, I'm an equal supporter yeah. of everybody. You know, I don't support one more than the other. It's a good answer. Is this kinda, a good text? It's kind of where it's kind of where it's kind of where where I'm at. I feel like it's a little bit of mix of the. Detroit. I think it's both these. It's like Detroit. It's interesting. And I've Dallas never heard it. I feel like it's good. there's Fellas a little. Don't talk like this around Detroit. No, but it's got a little, you, get, you get a little bit. Of it's not quite. Do Texas, you have a Texas accent? I do not. Can you turn it on? I don't think Does it have so. to be a I Texas accent. Why can't it just be a Cowboy accent? Yeah, hey, wait a minute. I have a California accent. I've I went. Can you turn it on? Can you turn on the Texas accent? I went to the store. I don't think so. <laughs> I went to the store. All right. I'm and can turn it on. this lady sounded exactly how my accent sounds. You're a native. I think you need to move here. Rooted. Rooted? <laughs> Ten how would you now. say you people? Y'all. Why yeah, would you give him the answer? He's trying to help my guy out. <laughs> oh, my, bro. We're testing. Oh, We're testing his Texan. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying, he's, I'm trying to help him out. Band of brothers. We support each other here. Oh, I got to think of another one now. I'm not from here, so I, you know, I've been here a long time, but that was the best one. What's another way to say damn it here? God dang it. That's, that's okay. Darn it. It's darn it, but yeah. Darn it. <laughs> yeah, hey, brother, God don't get mad at us. God darn it. Uh, that's, God darn it. Gosh darn it. Just don't sound right. Gert, just don't Gert, sound right coming yeah. off my lips. They're good. Yeah, just gosh darn it. <laughs> I can't do it. God dang it. I, I, rather, I prefer the God dang it. How would you say uh, Dallas besides saying Dallas? Ooh, ooh, Watch out ooh, your head. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, shit. <laughs> Are he yeah, trying Mike, to take me? Mike, Mike, Tyson, Mike, Mike, Mike. Mike. Hey, he said, Mike. Look, champ on champ, dude. Mike. Man, <laughs> God, tough crowd. Wow. And now he's looking right at you. <laughs> yeah, they got a problem with you, bro. I see how it is. I see how it is. We might have to reach out and get you on his podcast hey, too. Hack <laughs> with a nut. No, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that. That Pac would have never did you like that. You're right, but you Biggie though. He's solid. <laughs> Biggie and Pac is both of them. Yeah, Biggie solid up there. Yeah, Biggie super solid up there. Let me get that one. No, that just speaks yeah. to Mike. You Are know? you giving away art? Are we buying art? here we are. We're, we're slinging art. Yeah, yeah, we're I'm just trying to buy that art. one. Me and Kevin were talking about before the show, we wanted to grow up, so we're going to become art dealers. Yeah, and That's he's discriminating great... on what he wants to sell. First, he said everything was for it's sale. Now he's. No, hmm. you said everything's for sale. Wait, I thought you said arms. Art. 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 Oh, not arms. arms. No, they're no. not slinging arms. arms. Yeah. Just put the arms in the art. <laughs> yeah, I, I actually arms. got. We actually have custom ARs coming. We're talking about arms. Oh, you guys are talking about like I guns. Take one. My bad. one? I get you one mil. Yeah, I got a buddy that builds them. Wow, yeah. that is sell so my reach. embarrassing. <laughs> uh, got, what was the what was the craziest thing so that happened? People that would buy your reach. Yeah, sell it. What's your reach? Long, huh? long, 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 reach. long. <laughs> long. I don't know. It's like I don't know. It's long. <laughs> How long? Uh, don't really don't like know. You can scratch your knees standing up. <laughs> Not even funny, bro. <laughs> He's not funny can at you? all. Why are you laughing? Can, can you? <laughs> no, but I can do it sitting down. Well, we can all do it sitting down. Can you do it sitting down? Not everybody out? can, okay? <laughs> Damn. I can't do it. Tear, straight tear. Try to scratch your knees. See, he can't do I it. I think we should try it. You want to try it? No, we're not going to try it. 
<laughs> yeah. you do that? Uh, Can you do it? I got long ass arms, so. See? He's twitching his fingers on it. <laughs> I, I know. I'm like, <laughs> I can reach my like a for tickle. Sure. tickle. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Yeah, my arms, you know, I don't but they're long. The same thing. Yeah, I don't think it's the same thing. It's the same. It's not. Bro, you can actually bend a rib. Physics. Science. You can argue with science. Oh, here we go. It's like a margarita pizza can. shit. Yeah, margarita pizza. <laughs> you ever had a margarita pizza? You ever pizza? had a margarita pizza before? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you know what it is? Yeah. What is it? It's a pizza with just with like with sauce and margarita with margarita sauce and cheese. Mm, so it does have put, sometimes they put what a kind of margarita sauce. <laughs> Kevin, you're not gonna so win. What? That. <laughs> what kind of margarita sauce? Tomato margarita sauce. I don't fucking know, Kevin. What you what you what you get? I don't know, bro. You know something about the sauce that I don't. I no, thought no, I thought it was margarita and pizza. Uh, Aaron on, and she said margarita pizza, and he goes, "Oh, like they put salt." He said, "What do they put salt on the rim?" Margarita. I thought it was salty shit, but he was happy. But she did set him up though, bad because she goes margarita. She goes or vodka pizza. He's like, "Damn, they got vodka pizza too." So I get fucked up. Like he was all excited. It's like vodka in the sauce. Yeah, like the vodka, vodka sauce. sauce. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not this again. Come yeah. On, it's all good. Come mm. on, Kev. We love Kev. You're killing me, Petey. Ah, you're killing me. All right. Do we have any more Texas accents that we can ask him or Texas words that he might? I don't know. I can only think of this. I don't really speak accent. Texas. Like my Texas accent. It's all right. We're on you a little bit there, a little lady. Mm. Little lady. <laughs> That was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that was good. That actually was, that was good. Oh, 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 I got one. I got Texas. one. What do you call your What do you call your uh, your wife? Or oh, your girlfriend yeah. What do you call here? your lady? Your woman. This nigga don't know. Um. <laughs> Old lady, mama. Texas. What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> I know, yeah, I want to see the movie. Your old lady. Right? What? No, I was just like, your old lady. Yeah, this is the second that. second time the he's been on the biker Bullshit, boys. Bullshit, bro. The same thing with the biker Trying to teach him the ways. But he did say mama before you said he that. Did say so mama. But, that's all right. That one's cool. But old lady, mama. yeah. You sound oh, like you sound it. like Elvis. Yeah, so who was Johnny Bravo from? <laughs> Cartoon one guy. King of the Hills out in Texas. I know King of the Hills out in Texas, but. God dang it. He, he said, God dang Wait, what did y'all say? Yeah, he goes, damn God, it, Bobby. Damn it, Bobby. God dang it. God dang it. That was him. Sell propane and propane accessories. So so one of the ones y'all tried to say that one, I really got it right. Darn it. He represented y'all to the rest of us. That's what was sold to us up in the Midwest. That was like, Every like day. PG What about version. Matthew McConaughey? PM. Yeah, nobody yeah. really thinks Matthew McConaughey. All right, all right. All right. Yeah, when I lived in Detroit, they always thought we. Broke you don't know who Matthew shit. McConaughey is. You ever seen? <laughs> you ever seen the Time to Kill? With Samuel L. Jackson. That movie is wow. It's a crazy movie. Dude, that, I, know I, I cried. Watch that. Yeah, movie. That, was that was the first movie. That was the first movie I seen McC- Matthew McConaughey yeah. in. Die Hard. No. No. What what time. <laughs> That's Mel Gibson. Yeah. That's not Mel Gibson. That's Mel Gibson. Die Hard is. Wait. No, that's like the weapon. Oh shit! Yeah, that's, uh, die, see, die that's Bruce Willis. Is, uh, Bruce Willis. I thought like, Braveheart. Yeah. I was thinking Braveheart. I was thinking Braveheart. I was thinking Braveheart. Yeah, yeah. A time to kill. Is crazy. You was thinking about the wrong Listen, thing. I was thinking about the wrong movie. <laughs> you think about the wrong guy. No, I'm not. Die Hard. No, that's not him either. Matthew, Matthew McConaughey. Matthew McConaughey. Oh fuck. Lincoln uh, Lawyer. Lincoln Lawyer. Ah, I seen that movie yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What about it? Huh? Oh, Wolf of Wall, Wall Street. Street. Yeah, Wolf of Wall Street. He's the head main character. Mm. He's the guy's always the long. I've seen that before. <laughs> yeah, I do that when I got a good feeling. <laughs> that's Matthew yeah. McConaughey. He's yeah, he's like, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> yeah, that's he was. When, when did he do that though? That was <laughs> in. Uh, he does it in all of his stuff. Oh, yeah. Matthew. <laughs> Is that like his like go to his punchline? Like all right, all right, all right. That's his little his, his slogan. It's like his. No, that's not a slogan. It was it, a, it was from a movie. But but that is his that's that guy. That's from the character from it's like, uh. It's his signature. Yeah. You never seen it's days? Austin. He's cool. But, yeah. but come on, but I, he played in that one movie too, where he was dating that girl. They were like climbing rocks and shit. Yeah, he's the guy that get all high, and then the, the cops high. came to his house, and he was playing the bongo naked in Austin, high as hell. 
smoke a bunch of weed. Yeah. Was that some real life shit? Yeah, real life shit. Like he, he remember he was <laughs> I'm like, like, what movie was this? <laughs> <laughs> it was, like, it was, like, it was like all over. He was going right, awesome all the time. Too. Yeah, he that's, was he was with uh, Sandra Bullock. I don't know if they were married, but because he lives in Austin, he'd go out all the time. But he would get messed up at his house, and somebody called the cops on him. His neighbors. But he was just high as hell playing the bongo naked. He just lived, hey, he lives his best life, bro. Wow, that is yeah. living your best life. Yeah, not even mad at him. Naked playing. Yeah. Playing what? No, that I, you Bongos. never seen. You never seen Days and Confused. Yeah, Days and Confused. You never seen Days and Confused. No, it's like an old like stoner movie, bro. It's a coming of age comedy. Oh, young boy. You ever seen Brokeback Back Mountain? Mountain? <laughs> 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 I, I was about to put the goddamn hat away. Yeah. Not a goddamn hat. <laughs> God. All right, look, look. <laughs> Cam, I'm getting tired. <laughs> <laughs> now you listen here, bud. Yeah. You know, it's, hey, you know, you know. I got a story. I got a story with that movie. All right. Well, so here's the do. thing. Oh, so you and have this, seen it. <laughs> <laughs> listen, this is, and this is why. This is why I haven't seen the whole movie. But this is why <laughs> previews, previews. This is why you never fall asleep watching HBO. <laughs> Everybody don't fall asleep. Watching HBO and woke and up, woke to, up some to some shit. Yeah, that was like that was like my that was like when I found out that like, fuck is this? Like you don't have to get <laughs> in trouble to watch porno. You just gotta stay up late to watch it. That's it. Huh? That's it. Yeah. You just gotta see, you stay up late. So, uh, <laughs> how many kids can watch? <laughs> can watch? I don't have HBO in my house. No, all right, cool, cool, yeah. good, good, good. Yeah. I feel uncomfortable yeah. talking about broke back and I got this. Right, so what, what no, is, no, what's no, no, hold on. So the story, so the story is this, right? I fell asleep. <laughs> watching HBO. All right. You know, I think I was watching Hancock or something. You were watching Hancock. Watching Hancock? Hancock? Listen, you know what I'm talking about with, 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 with Will Smith. Look, it's. Are you sure it. it was HBO? It was HBO. <laughs> Listen, it was HBO. Y'all know they used to run that shit on it all the time. Uh-huh. Leave me the fuck alone. Anyway, anywho, so I fall asleep. And then next thing I, know, I wake up to like ruffling. I hear some ruffling. ruffling. <laughs> I hear some ruffling. On the TV. On the TV. Okay. So I'm like, all right. Then all of a sudden, it's just panting and grunting. I'm like, wait a minute. The fuck? I don't even feel I look up, bro, and then it's, bro. I'm like, is that? Ah, uh, bro. It was two dudes, bro. I was, that shit fucked me up. So this <laughs> This my, I got I got one question though. That was I never fall I never fall asleep. Is that where you got your accent from? Yeah, I got two questions too. No. <laughs> I got two questions now. I thought about some shit. How old were you when this happened? I think I was in like high school. Okay. So when you heard the sound of the ruffling and all the other shit. I like the way explain in the middle of the like night, that. like you didn't yeah. did you get a wood? No! <laughs> Man, get your eyes just making sure. <laughs> just making oh sure. You don't get a wood, Kev. <laughs> you wake up hard. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so you were already <laughs> hard. I was already hard. It wasn't the movie. It wasn't the movie. <laughs> no, I was just quiet. Child Only Fans. There you go. Is it? Shout out to Only Fans. <laughs> hey, you for know more, for more you know on how we were talking about with the post on there? Fans. There you go. <laughs> God. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Oh. That nigga said, "Did you?" you know, <laughs> so nigga ruffling and pen make. I'm just making sure, bro. You might have like you, you were little, young. You, you might, you frisky. know, You're frisky as hell. <laughs> I was a badass you, 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 kid, bro. Hell. My grandparents used to have this. Can like, I put my hat back on? Yeah, you can say, you know, we off, we off of this? All right, yeah, yeah. What is the worst shit you did as a kid? I shouldn't tell that story. You should. You should tell. Kevin, I'm actually interested in your your. What's the worst thing? Like you were a little badass kid. I mean, there was this one summer. Uh, one summer, summer yeah, second, I bet that's yeah. all it was. Uh, I said there was this one summer. So I'm not gonna say like we'll I, talk know. about it. Gonna tell you what happened. I'm just I'm gonna tell you a little bit because it, it, it's record. It's record. It's already on record. It's good. So I don't have nothing to hide there that year. Like you know, this year I allegedly got in a fight with a grown man. And they said I used brass knuckles. Like why would I use brass knuckles? I mean, somehow his tooth did get chipped, and I did win that fight. You know, and it was all I used to jab that day. That was a good day. Same summer, I got ran over by a truck. I didn't have any damage though. The truck was, was good. The truck was fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> Broke the windshield and all kind of shit. It was it was good. It was a good summer. Uh, it was I, the same I ran, summer. Yeah, and, and like the very summer. first day of the yeah, summer though, a good time. I ran into like the homegirl's house. I just want to, I just want to, I used to want her so bad. Felicia, Felicia, and you Smith. broke into her house. Oh, man. No, her mom was so cool. Shout bro. out Felicia. Like, yeah, shout I, out everybody. Felicia. Everybody remember the remember the girl when you was a young dog. Yeah, you bro. Were. She and like every once in a while, like like I remember like 
Freshman year, she had no titties. Sophomore year, titties like all of a sudden. Oh, man, yes. And she like, <laughs> no titties, bro. <laughs> I'm she telling a good story. I just story. gave her I, a shout out. And she freaking like, she like flashed her boobs, you know? Do you? Yeah, man. It wasn't to me necessarily. It was like, just, I think it's to the kid next to me. But I was there but for her. Right, 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 right. And, uh, and she saw and Felicia's on OnlyFans right now, too. Shout out to her. Uh, <laughs> and freaking, you know, I remember being super excited. But we'll get anybody. First time. day of the summer, though, we ran into Felicia's house because we were running from uh, security guards. Yeah, mm-hmm. security guards. And uh, when we ran into Felicia's house, she was having a threesome. With this guy named Alex from school. Wow, I was not expecting this. It was Wait, wild. Threesome, two dudes, two girls? No, it was two girls. Oh, okay. Another girl. I wanted. Exactly. I used to want to be with her, too. So but. he pulled a robbery on both of them. Yeah, and I ain't going to lie. When I first ran in the house, I knew I had to get to a hiding spot. So, But I was just stunned that he had both of them. Good summer. <gasps> not sure then, how this cord sides with this story. I went, story. I, went to, well, I went to their mom's room. Oh. And it was my first mom? time ever. Like, you know, it was the only time, too. Uh, now that I'm about to put it like that. But I fell in her closet and I landed on a dildo. <laughs> so, so you had broke back story. mountain in the closet. <laughs> it was a wild, it was a wild summer. This is uh, what I broke back. And when mountain. you and when you and when you hit that dildo, <laughs> right? Was it hard? <laughs> <laughs> well, it big, wasn't vibrating or anything. How but, big uh, was the dildo? It was pretty big. Was it? I mean, I was a kid then, so like of it course just felt like <laughs> it was bigger than what I had. So I was like, wow. You know, looked at it. And I was what like, did she need all that for? <laughs> you <Yeah>. know, <laughs> at, that, at that point in time, I realized I couldn't compete. Um, so you just came out the closet. Well, honestly, I, I mean, I did, I, <laughs> I, did, I did throw it out of the closet just to be safe. But a good summer. Once again, very good summer. I had summer school that year and I didn't go to not one class. Very good summer. I was a Jew long. Why would you have to go to the class in the crazy. summer? Crazy. Cause you didn't go to school during the regular time. <laughs> <laughs> I knew, I knew, I don't read that. Don't ask me how and, I know. And I'm gonna be honest with you. I was like probably the best summer. When I say best, I didn't really get in trouble that summer. I was about to say, it doesn't even sound like you got in trouble. It just nah. sounds like you hit a lot of bad so, scenarios. Nah. Oh, they really called, every time they called the cops on me, it just turns oh, out that I got hit with a truck. So he was in trouble for hitting me with the truck. Yeah. And you know, oh, yeah. and then uh, the, the grown up that I got in a fight with, he couldn't prove I had brass knuckles. I didn't have brass knuckles. What the fuck? And, uh, you know, freaking, yeah. So he, Kevin Holland made brass knuckles for him. Yeah, I mean, you know, Kevin Holland's always been a bad so Wait, so you beat up the guy and then got hit by a truck? Same, was that the same the altercation? Same guy? A couple weeks later. Oh, okay. I thought oh, you he saw your ass. Oh, different guy. Yeah, oh, I was about to okay. say, oh, he <laughs> saw your ass. <laughs> no. He saw your ass and was like... Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> My grandparents let me take a girl to Vegas that summer for our, for our family trip. That don't sound like a bad summer. Yeah, that's a fucking great summer. Great summer. I was going to just say one summer. I was, I was riding my scooter. Kid. I was asking about bad stories. Yeah, summer, I, was I was riding my scooter. scooter. You said, you said like, without a, a bad kid. Like, I mean, that was just a lady my typical in the winter and just oh, flashing. Okay. She showed me her boobs. Okay, you were a normal randomly. kid. Yeah. Oh, you? I thought that was pretty cool. She did what? I was like 10. Yeah. What'd she do? I said one summer I was riding my scooter just down the street and this lady knocked on the window and showed me her boobs. It's a good summer. <laughs> you didn't get hit by a fucking truck. Sounds like a white belt. I thought that was, and I thought that like was pretty cool. Woman? Yeah, bro. She bro, was, at, she was at least. Well, kind of shit, like, I was like ten. I was now. like ten. Fucking lit. Yeah. Now that you look at it, it's kind of fucked up. Yeah. Nah, but, <laughs> she's she's not fucked up. Fucking pedophile. Listen, that but, moment hey, in time, you, you knew you were going to be a champ. I was the fucking man. You knew it. Like right there. Like I'm the champ. Got my ass on the scooter. Like I got sex appeal. Yeah. Look at this. I'm not sure completely what it is. Yeah. I think I got it. I got it. I think I got it. No, at ten, no, no girls like me. So that's the worst thing you did? Beat up an old guy? He was 21. You're like Conor McGregor, you're just smacking like old dudes? He was like 21, 23. I was a badass little kid. How old were you at the time? You were bad? I was a fucking 15, terrible kid. What's your bad story? 15. Oh, yeah, he definitely ran <laughs> if your there's ass a worse, over. Is there a worse? Can't live worse? with that. I'll be that. Ale- I mean, <laughs> alleg- I like to say there's some that were allegedly that I did. Uh, I ran from the cops all the time, but... The no, whole- you, you ran from security guards. Yeah, security guards. <laughs> Uh, once uh-huh. in handcuffs, that was rough. Uniform yeah. men, they had, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking behind my back. No. I, you ever? No, no I want to ask, but you I had to run behind the cops. No, bro, it was the worst because you had to jump the fences with them behind your back, and you had to like jump and hit the fence and like roll over. It was <laughs> terrible. Anyway, the handcuffs on? Yeah, bro, it was horrible. So bro, you did get caught? No, no. So we got yeah. Allegedly, I got caught and then got uncaught, if if you will. You got caught though. 
Yeah, yeah, but then got away and then mm. get caught after that. We gotta count that against you. It was, it was, it was rough. No, it happens. No, you got you put <laughs> the handcuffs on. I had to call. <laughs> they called my homie. Got we got the hit, yeah, but I did. I was bad. I was okay. You remember pound puppies? Remember those things? Like the the pound puppies. They were like the stuffed dogs. Know. but They look real. You don't yeah. remember pound the puppies? The big ones. Yeah, yeah, the big ones. Yeah. Yeah. So I used to like because they look real. So we in the neighborhood we would tie them fishing pole and hide in the ditch. And you would like reel them with the fishing pole when cars were coming. You could drive them. So you find out <gasps> who was like. Yeah, you make it look like a dog. So it was like asshole. One guy, people would always like stop and they'd see badass little kids in the ditch. You're like, fuck out of here, kids. But one time the guy wasn't paying attention and he got to the car and we're like, oh shit, he's going to hit the fake dog. And we got scared and he looked up and he swerved and went into the, but he almost hit us. So we had to like jump up and we had to like hide, we're jump up and take off running. So one of my buddies, his name was Stuart. His mom was crazy, like older black lady. She was like, you didn't fuck with her in the neighborhood. So we ran and jumped in his window and we're like hiding in there. We're all sweating and like, we're playing video games. And so the dude saw us run over there because his car went in the ditch and he knocked on the door. And Stuart's mom was like, fuck you mean? Like my kids, my kids are in there playing video games. They didn't do shit. So she's about to fight this whole yeah, white yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. She was like, Pops who the up. fuck are you telling? You know, I'll fuck you up. We're right. like, yeah, get him, get him, this girl. Like we right. were like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. she's like, this shit up knowing damn well y'all in that bitch wrong. <laughs> yes. yeah. But she didn't know. She didn't know we ran out there. So they're about to call. She calls the cops on this dude. She's trying to fight this dude in the yard. Like you can get some. We're like, yeah. So she walks in the room. She's like, man, this mother. And we were all in there sweating like four of us. She's like y'all badass little kids. We're taking pound puppies and rolled across the street. Yeah, that was us. Oh man, I wasn't. See, I, was, I mean, at least, at least, at least that's what you got. Shit, when we did shit like that, uh, my fucking shot at us. Yeah, but you get shot at. Thank God, we got shot at throwing shit at people's cars. Yeah, we, just, like, we were driving like we like. I never you know, seen the food truck. You ever seen a food truck? Like these food trucks, like you know the ones that used to come to the neighborhoods and shit. Yeah. So we grabbed like they one of them. They came. They had like a shit ton of limes. And back then, as a kid, I didn't understand how much people cook with limes. So I'm like. Nobody doing shit with these lines. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so we grabbed like a box of like 30, 40 of these motherfuckers. Fucking bro. throw them at cars. We took them and we froze them. <laughs> oh. We throwing them at cars, bro. Like, it's like, that was bad. Tagging people's cars, yeah. bro. Yeah. Tagging people's cars. Someone from New Jersey told me uh, that I was friends with when I was younger. Her dad told me that if I wanted to hurt somebody, I needed to freeze fruit. Yeah, from fruits, yep. and he's like, you just take it, and like toss it, or like put it in a pillowcase and go to work on them. He told me, why the fuck would you offer up that information? He on just that? told me, right. so Love I just I nope. found it interesting that you you froze the limes and then tossed. That's them. funny, just this, you know, messed up thing. This dude back when we were younger, little racist dude, fuck that dude, piece of shit, fuck him. He um called my sister coming off the school bus. He froze an orange and threw it. It hit my sister in the eye, and like still to the day, my sister's <gasps> eyesight is fucked up. Are you serious? Oh uh, yeah, my yeah, sister's like I guess 40. it. Forty. I guess. God damn. Oh, fuck yeah, we we got my we, bad sister. You not exact actually forty. I be forgetting. Yeah. <laughs> you know I love you. God damn. Yeah. It. It, anyway, <laughs> we had we had this racist ass dude like in the neighborhood, bro. Thirty seven. Do it like she like thirty eight. like yeah. she looks like she's twenty though. No matter what, right? Huh. Looks like she's twenty, so that's what counts. Yeah, yeah. So you get some love. Back. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you get some love back. Yeah, doesn't matter. Just like, fuck. <laughs> I hope my kids don't do that. We did. We had a racist fuck in our neighborhood. Oh, so my kid always gets in trouble. We'd water balloon launcher fruit at his house. I gotta act like because he had a fucking Confederate flag in his yard. I was like, what are you doing, bro? Oh, we used man. to launch. You fucking lost, buddy. <laughs> we fucking lost. <laughs> <laughs> but it was funny because one time they called the cops on us, and he was saying that. He was he was like, man, these, these these black kids don't like me. And then they would catch me and then be like, What do you mean, bro? I'm racist. <laughs> <laughs> and all of the goons are like, Dustin, what are you, you doing? You have the like, damn fitted hats on back then. Yeah, I would have it on, but I'd be like, uh, no, yeah, no, they sir. Were like, they were like, No, the cop I'd be like, No, sir, I would, why would I do that? Are you kidding me? And put it on. They're like, Yeah, that doesn't make sense. He was saying that it was some black kids that did it. I go, I don't know, man. It's not me. Like, fuck up. Like, they, must they, be nice. they see your ass with your fitted <laughs> cap and shit, they start checking your sweater for some vomit. <laughs> Vomit on his sweater already? Yeah, I know Eminem. Yeah, hey, a little, little, little Tupperware, some yeah, mom's little, spaghetti. We got it on there. Yeah. yeah. You know how I roll? <laughs> they don't get it. They don't get it. <laughs> they don't get it. They don't get it. Eminem, so shady. The white guy. Yeah, for sure. My name is Slim Shady. Yeah, I heard that shit before. I got but, it. I had all that. <laughs> <laughs> You're good, Dustin. Don't worry about it. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. So wait. That begs the question. They say all these black kids, they always caught you 
Gotta be the fall guy because I would never get in trouble. Uh, uh, I was about to say, he got shit. caught earlier too. He was the slowest. Hey, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. That's how I had to get fast. I was like, because I was like, fuck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I was faster than all my white friends, though. <laughs> I promise you that. There we go. Yeah. yeah. So wait, Listen. just really real quick, back up. You said you got cuffed, right? Mm-hmm. How did you get uncuffed after you got away? Everybody got an extra guy. No, I'm yeah. asking. I just want to know. I, the story. I, I, I knew people. Okay. I, I ran in a different different like crowd. That. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. D- Dustin's oh. got his card, y'all. I got a key in the house. My yeah. dumbass handcuffed myself one time and, and spent like literally a whole day handcuffed until my dad got home from. What were you trying to you try and get on oh, OnlyFans early, so, huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, so what was his handcuffs for? It was I don't even know where the fuck they came from, bro. But I just uh-huh. I remember seeing like one of uh, one of the dudes, he's like, Oh, I, I know how to get him off and shit like that. And like I think he was bullshit now what well, now at the time. I, at the time I didn't I'm like, oh he put him on and I seen him back open and it never and then at, really at the time it didn't dawn on me that you can just push them bitches through as long as there's not an arm in it and it just reopened. Yeah. And somehow in my mind, I thought that I would be good if I put these motherfuckers on. I put them bitches on it. You were stuck. I was stuck. They ain't have a key. Nothing. My dad came home. He trying to. Eat my- <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, my dad came home. Got a safety pin. All that. This is this. This is when I realized, like, uh, back back in my when my dad talking about all his old days running the block. They wasn't uh. It wasn't the they wasn't the the extra spy type criminal because he could not get the motherfuckers <laughs> off. He could not get the motherfuckers off. We ended up um we ended up leaving, having to go to a police station because like down this one I live down in Southern Illinois, so the next police station was like Cope to Carbondale it was maybe like seven miles, seven ten miles or some shit like that. So we had to go over to the next town and get and catch a cop, and get him to. Let me out of the handcuffs. Wow. This guy. Uh, some goofy ass shit. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That was one, it was a very few times where I just felt like dumb as fuck. <laughs> that was one of those times. I got my head stuck between some bars one time. What kind of bars? At the laundromat. <laughs> what? Yeah. What bars are at the laundromat? Like someone who would stick his hand I don't think that was a laundromat. Your hand or your head? My head. Oh, your <laughs> head. Yeah. You look like someone who'd stick his head I, in places. I grabbed the bars belong. and I was like, I'm strong. <laughs> I squeezed them like this. And I put my head through. Then I, was like, I was like, I'm strong. <laughs> and I tried to pull my head back out and it wouldn't come out. And my mom was like, how the fuck you get in there? <laughs> and like, she's like turning my body sideways and shit. I Stop even, pulling on your ass. I didn't even get out. How'd you get end up getting out? I don't know. I should call her and ask her. <gasps> I just remember something. Passed I got my out. head stuck in a staircase when I was little. No, I was just stuck there so long. <laughs> I don't remember. I think I went like, you know how they have the, the wood? As, yeah. It's not just straight. I think I put it, I think I put Certain my head spot. in a way. Yeah, I wiggled it in and then I could not get out. I think my dad had to help me. It was pretty embarrassing. Yeah. Hope my kids don't turn out like me, man. And then I, I got a whipping afterwards. <laughs> He's like, hope my kids don't turn out like you guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, me, bro. My kids, my, my poor, poor wife, if you do with my kids, Jesus. Yeah. I was a badass little kid, man. I was just always in trouble. Yeah. It's hard to be in a kid. In trouble. Yeah, but like, yeah. I yeah, was doing too much. I, ain't gonna lie. I, was, I was doing too much as a kid. Yeah. yeah. We did a lot. Way too much. I should be in, uh, yeah, way too much. I was a good kid. Not me. Look at that proper How was it? We're, seating. <laughs> you were in Austin last week, Joe Rogan, right? How was, how'd you like Austin? Austin was dope, bro. It's, um, it's a nice place. You know, it's got good food. Good food. Yeah. Good food. It was just chill, bro. It was just vibe, the vibe and shit was just chill. We did went to that uh I think it was called Terry Black's. Yeah. That shit was barbecue's good. fire down there. Oh, that was yeah. I haven't been there. Barbecue shout out to So him. good. It's the one that sometimes there's like a three, four hour wait. Sometimes all day. You have to be careful. We should go hey, ahead. We with Joe Rogan. Yeah, you you were good. Don't wait. Don't wait. Yeah. Don't wait with Joe. Oh, Rogan. you you went you went eight with there, Joe? Yeah. No, nah, Joe just sent us there. Oh, you know. Yeah, the Rogan weight. Worth solid. Man, <laughs> the fuck? I went on there. I didn't get no barbecue. <laughs> you didn't get no barbecue. <laughs> you probably, you was, probably asked, yeah. huh? Did you ask? I was just like, I'm hungry. He was like, yeah, oh, I just want to go to the relax and he sent us there. Nah, uh, I was trying to get home. My transmission broke on the way there. <gasps> oh, you drove yourself there? Yeah. Oh, that's why. Kev likes to drive. He's like, hey, we're going. Shoot. I'm going to drive. Yeah. If that's up with driver, personal, uh, personal security, and everything, it's straight. 
For real? That's badass. See, you're not taking advantage of the perks. Nah, I just wanted to drive. My bad. It was like That's why you didn't get barbecue, <laughs> yeah. Leave. It's like we're going to fly to Vegas so I can get my car and drive back. <laughs> that's not true. <laughs> that's, that's, I said I was going to move my car and fly back. Oh, okay. Now I know. You bought me a one-way ticket. I was going to be stuck. Yeah, I did. <laughs> he said he wanted to drive back. <laughs> he said he wanted to, sorry, bro. I was going to be going to the airport with him. Like, hey, why guys. I just buy the, the round trip and then if you're going to drive back, just cancel it? It's no, great, I was... a great, uh, great question. I didn't buy the ticket. <laughs> so I have no answer for that. That's it. That would be a funny ass prank to buy somebody. <laughs> like a dick, fucking ticket. ticket. Yeah. Next time, I'm be like, "Hey, bro, I'm gonna let you book my flight no more." <laughs> 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 See you international flight week. Kevin's gonna so be rolling the airport. Be, wake up at the, get off the gate, walk out that bitch. Like, where the fuck is my ass? <laughs> Alaska somewhere? Like, to be like home alone, bro. Man. He's gonna be on some random ass place. <laughs> gotta wait for a long time to get a flight home. Whole week and shit. How long oh, does it fuck. take to fly to Alaska? I don't know. Gotta be a while. What? Alaska. You figure. It's not like a. It's gotta be like a long, like a good lengthy flight. No. And then. So Alaska, Alaska? yeah, because Hawaii is what nine hours, eight nine for Alaska. Right up the street. Are you trying to go to Alaska? Hell no! Nah. I'm trying Alaska. to figure out why anybody would want to go to Alaska. Because oh. like people are actually right? visiting, they actually go to Alaska and shit. And no that shit, like cold as fuck. Yeah, I am. You can't drive to Alaska. No, Hell no. Yeah, you should try it. Adventures of Kev. <laughs> yeah, I need to do a show to see how see where you can drive. The map? No, I'm not about to look it up on <laughs> yeah, the map. Yeah, look it up on the map. He's looking it up. He's double checking. So, so what's up? Siri? Cyrus? No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not, I'm not, I got I, I got a really important message. I got to respond to right now. Okay. Yeah, I bet you do. In All Alaska, right, well, what's now, next for you? Yeah, yeah, what's next? Now that you have this belt, you've had people coming out. Alex says some things. Um, Yuri sent you a message. Let's. Just waiting to see, you know. Um, it's pretty much. Uh, you looking it up? <laughs> no. <laughs> he has a map, y'all. But he didn't know where it's at on the map. Trying so to no figure help. out the map. He doesn't know. He's it's like, not he's zooming in on Kev. He's like North Detroit. Kev. This right here. <laughs> it's right by Mich- Michigan. Just because it's cold is fucking in Midwest. Y'all don't, don't have none. no gloves, no uh, globes here. You have a globe. It's, it's not getting no closer. <laughs> But I'm 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 telling you right now, you can drive to Alaska. <laughs> I've seen it. it. First episode of Venture Cab, the drive to Alaska. I'm gonna get there. You get there. I believe in you. No, nah, for real. You can't drive to Alaska. Well, it's 2,500 miles. So that ain't far. It's not that bad. It's not connected though, right? It's not yeah, far it is. At all. is it? Told you. Yeah, it is. I thought you told you. Was, I thought yeah, you could. I don't <laughs> know if you actually. He's get like, it, I've looked can. this up before. Told you. The road is a globe. You can drive anywhere. Oh, man. No, you cannot <laughs> drive anywhere in the globe. You can't. No, you cannot. That's I mean, not how that works. There's Kev. back roads. <laughs> there's just back roads. There's, uh, there's there's water too. Lots of it. They got cars that that float, little, little float, float. Uh, would you trust some shit like that? They're though? called airplanes. <laughs> <laughs> For boats, one way tickets. I anywhere in my <laughs> Uh, you can you put go your faster. car on a boat and get there. Yeah, I guess you can drive. See, drive anywhere. Told See? you guys. I brought it back. You want to drive That's back cool. and forth on the boat? <laughs> we'll put it in part. It's still gonna be moving. We're gonna put it in neutral and let the waves just ah the motherfucker fall. I like how side. you put that. Yeah, I'll put it in neutral and let the waves rock me there. <laughs> <Just rock. laughs> That's why <wild. laughs> I don't know why he gets one way tickets. Right. <laughs> he tried to do some shit like that. He's he ain't making it back anyways. Shit. Yeah, that's why. I wonder how I'm gonna get back. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> back, nah. back to your answer. Yeah, uh, basically, what's next is just saying I want the Yuri fight next. So it's all it's all based on his recovery and things like that. Um, basically, where I where from, from my knowledge, where I know the UFC is with everybody else, they probably gonna have to fight again. So somebody gonna uh, contender gonna have to step out. And, Show themselves and separate themselves from the pack. But yeah, as of right now, if only for sure person that I know that I could fight, it would have to be if he's ready. And I know he won't be ready for months. So, so this talk of Alex, um, he had put, he had commented on a post that you had saying 
some something about you can knock me out or something or how about yeah he was responding to a uh to a video that i made like some months ago uh saying it was after the izzy fight and i was basically like i knock him out like i seen him in person i seen him i seen he has an offer and i feel like i knock him out and i still feel the exact same way i stand a hot stand 10 toes down on that shit like i don't know him, him hopping on there making a comment because you made this comment and then you went on to sign a contract to fight somebody else mm. you know what i'm saying so that was some that was some hot air shit you know um if he if he gets past izzy again and he won't they decide that that's something that they want to do with him and they want i'm for that shit Come on in. I'm not ducking nobody. I'm not worried about nobody. I'm not scared of nobody. And if you sign a contract to fight me, you gon' you gonna feel this shit. For real. You're gonna feel the weight of that that pin stroke. You make sure. That's basically where I'm at. I'm just anybody that challenged me that think they want to fight me, I'm in it to fuck you up, basically. Yeah. I mean, cause this is a target. Fuck yeah. You know? Yeah. It also means you're a fucking champ. Time. Fucking get a shot of the title if you want it, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Come on, <laughs> Alex. Take your ass, ass, bro. Yeah. You know they got me all hyped up, man. Fuck yeah. I guess, too. That's legit. I want to I wanna bring back I want to bring back the long, sweaty, nice, nervous about a title shot. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Before you go in and you go and fight for that title. You should be you should be fearful. You should be up all night. Fucking, fucking, am I ready for this? Huh? You should be like that because I'm that type of champion. You know what I mean? Because if you come in there thinking it's about to be smooth, you come in confident and all that shit. I love... When somebody comes in confident, I want you to come in as confident as possible. I want you to be sure you're ready for everything I do. Because once once you come in, you see that's not the case, and I take that confidence away, where you go from there? Yeah. You know what I mean? I'm with that Sweet shit, bro. Sweet dreams. That's what I felt. Is like, I, I, like what you said earlier was not that uh, he just kept coming the whole fight. Mm -hmm. He kept trying to do stuff, but it felt like every time he got something going, bro, when you tagged him, it just it threw him off that game again. And he it just... I don't think he felt. I don't think he was ready for you. He's a tough guy, right? Mm -hmm. Obviously, he finished, but it was like just watching the fight as a fan. I was, I was like, man, it seemed like he would start trying to get in that groove you were talking about. But he was expecting me to fade. Yeah, it, and he yeah. didn't. Yeah, and I don't. I don't fade. If anything, I get going even more. The more, the longer a fight goes on, the less chance you have of beating. You know, just because <clears throat> I'm always figuring things out and I'm always learning, even while I'm in there. You know, so the more I figure you out, the less chance you have of beating. Yeah, I think yeah. Anthony Smith said that. Like the longer yeah. a fight goes, he's more dangerous because he once he figures something out the first time, he changes it or fixes it immediately. Yeah, yeah. It looks, I mean, I was uh, I I watched that fight after I saw you crying. I got a little emotional. I was crying. Why? I was like, man, it was like to see somebody. It was like I kind of felt I felt that feeling before when you see somebody like that. You see somebody like win and put their life into it i was like because i told my wife before she's like isn't that the guy you had on the podcast i was like yeah and was, he's like man that could, my wife doesn't watch ufc like that but she's like man i watch that guy's podcast he's he's gonna win like even before the fight she was like he's gonna win he's focused and then when i saw you crying at that joy i was like man you could just see like that years of hard work that pain all that shit you worked for and i was like hey man i would not want to be the guy that faces you next for a title defense because it's like I worked so hard for this shit. You ain't taking it from me. It, it ain't happening. Yeah. And it's that end. Like, you know what I mean? Like now it's just a point. I want my respect now, you know, you know, and uh, I'm willing to tear through a whole fucking division to get it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So like, that's just where I'm at now. It's just about, it's just about respect, you know, because yeah, I did put, I did put, put a lot of work into it. A lot, a lot went in and into, into obtaining this championship, Yeah, you know? And, uh, just for kind of like the shit to be thrown on it that it kind of does. Yeah, it did kind of piss me off. You know what I mean? I mean, it did piss me off. Yeah. So now the best way to go about being that, you know what I mean, and being pissed off is let motherfuckers feel it. Yep. Let the motherfuckers that they put in front of me feel it. And shit, essentially just burn down the whole fucking division. Okay. That's what I'm ready to do. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Uh, yeah, hey, <laughs> made me yeah. That. hey that, that chip on the shoulder, man. You don't want to fuck with somebody that's got that chip on their shoulder that's ready to prove people wrong, man. That's a that's a there's there's like you said, there's guys that come in there confident in anything in life, right? They think, mm -hmm. oh man, I got this, I earned this, this is mine, whatever. And then there's those dudes, man, that that play with that chip on their shoulder that hey, you're not taking this shit from me and you wanna you piss me off now, now I got a point to prove. Mm -hmm. It's like so I said I was telling him today, I was like 
about work. I was like, you know what? I don't even want to beat people anymore. I want to fucking take their souls. And they're like, what? I'm oh, like, wow. I want to yeah. fucking take their soul. I want you to yeah. know that if you ever, ever try to compete with me, you're going to regret it for the rest of your life because I'm not only going to beat you, I'm going to take your fucking soul and I'm going to let you know, bro, you're not in my league. You can't compete with me. Don't fucking try it. You better recognize, put some fucking respect on my, ne- my name, my team's name. I'm just taking your soul, bro. It's just like, I want that itch, that competitiveness. And it's like, it just gets there. Like, let's go. Yeah, bro. And like, like, you don't know, it's all love to Glover. You know what I mean? Yeah. I got nothing but respect for him and all those and things like that and like all of that. You know what I mean? But you know what I mean? I, I felt, I felt a little disrespected by the fact of he didn't like the level of confidence he had. It kind of was like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Again, he gave me my respect and my due as a fighter, but the true threat that I know that I am, I don't feel like they really know that and they really not giving it that level of respect. That's why they don't have a chance against me. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, bro, that was probably one of the most, one of the worst beatings I've given out. And I ain't, I'm just ready to do it again. Yeah. Like, for real, I'm ready to do that shit again. I don't feel, ain't no, ain't no, ain't no mercy, ain't no remorse, ain't nothing. Bro. I'm, Line them up, knock them down. Bro, I'm, I'm telling yeah. you, it's, it's all the way that way. It's all the way that way. It's up for the whole, for everybody. We're there. We're there. Next fight. Next one. We're there, bro. Gotta keep right. grabbing them dubs. Yeah. yeah we red Ruby behind. We got one. Run it back, back to back. Yeah, now we gonna see. We, we gonna see. We put about two more on here. International, <laughs> international <laughs> fight week. Hey, there. international yeah. fight week. That's that's that. Yeah, I think that sounds movie. right. Yeah, Pereira. Would you go? Track. Would you bring him? Will he come up or you go down? For um, for out. He, oh, we go champ, champ. I mean, shit, you know, um, it depends. It depends. Like, right now, I'm just focused on, shit, tearing this division apart. Yeah. You know what I mean? I want to tear through everybody in this division. I want a piece of everybody. So, I want to do that first before I start working on that. Like that. If he want to come up, cool. You know what I'm saying? Come on up and get it. I think he should come up. He yeah, you got to come up. a couple times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Me going down, that's like a... Yeah, that'd be like a one time thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's let Jamal. Let's let Jamal. Big Jamal yeah. stay where he is. Well, I mean, yeah, I just there. No, no, yeah. Big well, Jamal. Big well, Jamal don't need to be fucking around now. No, you know. But I'm just saying, if the guy gets bipolar fingers and goes running his mouth on Instagram, you gotta. Something that is funny though, and, uh, and actually, uh, Big Mater reminded me of this because this is like this right after I got signed. Right after I got signed off contender series, I'm walking in the back and I'm in the back hall and. I'm in the I just, we stopped and we started talking. He's like, yeah, you ever thought about going to 185? He's like, he's like I don't know, two or five, but those dudes are big. Those are big dudes, you know, and they're killers, you know what I'm saying? He's like, I think you'd really do good yeah. at, at 185. Like, it was just like, I mean, a little bit of doubt of like what I could really do at 205. Now look. Look at me now. Yeah. <laughs> look at me now. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I want to you know see what the- said? First one off that show. Yeah. I wonder if he was thinking that from the, in that division. Hey, yo, that shit dope. That shit yeah. dope. That shit fire. Yeah. That shit smooth. I think that's all I do. I know we got to go. But I do know I, I saw the, the basketball game. And we had uh, the Philly, Philip Rowe on. And he's, what, he's from Brooklyn. He's a hooper. We were yeah. talking about basketball game. I think allegedly you, you picked your five, right? I think there's a. Uh, I think there's got to set up a game. You get your five, he gets his five. Bro, he ain't the him. only one. Hit me up. Oh, 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 Walt Harris. Walt Harris hit me up too. Was like, bro, you know I hooped in college, yeah, right? I, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. I, I think your your five was fired, but I'm not playing with Titty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's 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 yeah. let's uh, let's yeah. not go there. Let's, but I, I say, hey, no. five look, and five will set look, it up. I, I think I seen an interview since then, and somewhere where Izzy said he can't hoop. You know what I mean? So I, <laughs> I, 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 I'm like, I, I don't know. I, I, I'm like conflicted. I, I was, we're gonna let we're gonna let Titty go. You got you got you got cut. Yeah, Titty's cut. He got cut. Titty got to be cut, bro. He can't hoop. That's it. That's it. So there we go. Look, he can dance on? though. You can't, you need, you can't, you can't dance and what not you be able to do? Dribble. Dance over there on the side, yeah. off his You can be a cheerleader. Nah, no, I'm not gonna say that. You're smack me up. I'm not gonna All say right. that. But let's do that. Let's 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 get. I, that's the five. Let's do, let's do a. We could do a real eyes charity game. You get your five. The bro get his five, and then bro gonna game. go get real hoopers, bro. Well, I got fighters. <laughs> no, you, you gotta be. They gotta <laughs> that's be what fighters. DC no, 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 did. They gotta be fighters. I have fighters, and this motherfucker pulled up with some real hoopers. <laughs> yeah, I can't do that. You gotta get fight. They gotta be on. They gotta be fighters. Can't go get real hoopers. Can't go get some cats in the NBA. Come on. I mean, that's what Floyd did. Got that's what Floyd did. Bro, the fucking dude was like the number eight pick like a couple months later. Yeah, he can't do that. No, no, that's no they got, they, there's got to be some, 
It's got to be, they got to be like, they can't be pros. Yeah. Come on. That's how we do it. Yeah. Let's do that. We got to wrap. All right. Well, that's it. That's all we got for the Real Eyes. Jamal, <laughs> thanks for coming on. We've already yeah. camera down. Yeah. We appreciate Cozy, it. Cozy couldn't and keep congrats. up. congrats. Now they got three of them, so they're not a two-man wrecking crew anymore. <laughs> Lost the G's. Monsters, we need better cameras. Yes, shout out to Monsters. I'm gone. <laughs> 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 <laughs>